Have you been drinking the same coffee for so long that you can't even taste it anymore? Are you tired of spending $15 on a bag of coffee that you don't even like? Then this coffee show is for you. Welcome to the Bracketology of Coffee, Season 2, Round 3. The theme of this season is inexpensive coffee. Every bag was purchased at Walmart, and the average price per bag is only $5.05. So let me introduce the competitors for Round 3. We've got some delicious coffees um, waiting to be tasted. First off, we have Caribou Coffee. It's called Daybreak. The origin is the Americas and East Africa. 12 ounces goes for $7.28. It's a light roast and they were ranked number two in my brackets. Going up against Maxwell House Breakfast Blend. Uh, the origin is not disclosed. This 11 ounce can goes for just $3.12. It's a light roast and they ranked number seven in my brackets. Sometimes coffees like this can be surprisingly good, so I'm very interested to see what it tastes like. I've never tried it before. The way this works, I prepare both coffees in a French press. The recipe I use is one tablespoon of coffee grounds for every five ounces of water. I steep it for four minutes, and the competition consists of two halves. First half, I drink the coffee black, fresh out of the French press, and in the second half, I add a little bit of cream. Each round will get uh, scored, uh, they will get a score between 0 and 100, so the maximum possible points for each coffee would be 200. Um, so let me go ahead and get these coffees brewing and I'll be right back to do some tasting. Thanks for watching. Alright, we're back to taste some coffee. Two housekeeping items before we get started. Uh, first off, I am not a super taster. 25% uh, of the population is thought to be a super taster and I consider myself just an average taster. Um, this coffee competition is meant to help you discover new coffees and um, it's just a casual coffee tasting, taking nothing seriously here. So uh, what I look for in coffee is drinkability. Something that is smooth and flavorful with a pleasing aftertaste. And I'm going to put some coffee tips on the screen for you. Hopefully those are helpful. So the way I do it is I taste it twice. First, I just am trying to get an overview of the two coffees. And then on the second taste, um, I'll give them a score. So this is the first half, so I'm tasting them black. And we are going to get started with the Caribou Coffee Daybreak. Let's see what we've got. It's delicious. Um, in full, dis full disclosure, I actually do drink this coffee quite often. But in this competition, the way it's set up, putting it head to head versus another coffee, um, it's a perfect way to tell which one you like better. So um, it'll be interesting to see how the scores um, add up in this, in this round. Uh, next up, I've got the Maxwell House Breakfast Blend. I'm excited to try this one. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, it's got an interesting smell to it. Um, they don't disclose the origin of their beans, which kind of turns me off a little bit. Tends to um, mean that they are using an inferior bean, um, but not always. So, And also in the second half when I add cream, it typically changes the flavor. And so sometimes coffees like that can shine with a little bit of cream. So let's go ahead and give the caribou a score. Yeah, 
Yeah, that coffee is so smooth going down and then right at the end you get a little bit of an aftertaste from the light roast. Um, can't explain the specific flavors because I'm not a super taster, but very good. Um, let's go ahead and give them a 93. Now for the Maxwell House, give them a score. Yeah, very interesting smell. I, if I if I didn't know any better, I would think that they have added spices to it, but I know that that's something they wouldn't do. Um, let me give them a taste. Yeah, if you've seen my previous rounds, you know that when I taste the coffee, typically a number just pops into my mind and, um, and I've got to go with it. So I'm going to give them an 84. It's a very decent coffee, um, not top of the line by any means, but we'll see how they do in the second half. So let me go ahead and pause this video, add a little bit of cream, and we'll be back for the second half of this competition. We're back for the second half. I've added a little bit of a cream to each of the coffees and we're going to go ahead and give them another um, taste. I'll get an overview on the first taste and score them on the second taste. So first up is the caribou coffee. The cream has enhanced both the smell and the taste. Um, that coffee is really, really great with half and half. So now let's get an overview on this Maxwell House breakfast blend. Good to the last drop. <laughs> Yeah, it's a very mysterious coffee. Um, the flavors I'm picking up, I can't, I can't distinguish at all. Uh, but um, what I do love about it is that it's lacking any of the artificial flavors. It's lacking all the bad flavors. So it's actually a decent coffee, especially for three dollars and twelve cents or whatever that costs. So uh, let's go ahead and give these guys a score. Um, back to the caribou. Man, that one's really good. I can't ask for much more in a coffee. Um, I think I'm gonna give them a 97. That's a really high score. I love that coffee. Um, now for the Maxwell House, give them a score. cannot tell what those flavors are that I'm picking up um, but that is super drinkable I mean I could drink that uh, on an ongoing basis for sure um, let's bump them up to uh, 87 yeah not bad at all surprisingly good so let me go and tally up these scores and we'll be back to declare a winner in this round three competition to declare a winner in this round three competition first up we've got caribou coffee daybreak they scored a 93 in the first half 97 in the second half for a total of 190 and i definitely would recommend this coffee for you to try going up against Maxwell House, good to the last drop, breakfast blend. They scored an 84 in the first half, 87 in the second half, for a total of 171. I would recommend this one as well. Like I said, they had some unique 
smell to it, a unique taste to it, you've got to try it for yourself. Um, for me, it definitely is lacking any flavors that would put me off. Um, you got to try it at least once. So, this round three competition, our winner, Caribou Coffee Daybreak. That score of 190 is a pretty high score. I think they're going to do very well in this competition. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.